San Francisco and Santa Cruz, so Northern California for the past week or so, nine days, eight days, I don't really know considering the plane and everything, but it was a lot of fun and obviously I did a little bit of shopping, which I'm so excited to show you guys about because it's a lot of exciting stuff, or at least I think that it's exciting. And this is kind of a big jumbled mess of a video, not a mess, it's a fun mess because I have a little bit of like first impression stuff, some of the stuff I've already, you know, tried on and tried out, so it's more of a review, and then there's a tiny bit of stuff that I bought online while I was there, so it's kind of like also an unboxing a little bit, so just bear with me, it'll be fun, and uh, I hope you enjoy, so let's get right into it. So the first place I went is a little store, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's called um, Brandy Melville, I think it's just this like new thing that not a lot of people know about. Totally kidding, we all know and love Brandy. So I went to the one in San Francisco. Okay, so for some reason my camera is only filming 30 second clips, which is really annoying and I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but we'll try it out. So the Brandy in San Francisco was so nice and I loved it. There was so much stuff there and the ladies were super nice. I know it sometimes has a bad reputation of having like mean worker ladies but they were all super nice and super cool so let's get into that so the first thing i got is this dress and i think that it is super pretty um it's like the jada style i think is what it's called and they have it in a lot of different colors um i was deciding between getting it in red like a deep red color and this and i just decided to go with the patterned one i think it looks kind of like a thanksgiving pattern but i really like it and the back is really deep so that's neat and a little scandalous and it's really light so it's perfect for the summer the next thing i got is just this plain red tank top ah and it's like a deep kind of blood red color or like maroon that's really pretty and it's so soft it feels like a little blanket i love it so much and just really flowy nice crop top i think it looks super cute with so much stuff and it's just kind of one of those staple pieces. Kind of in the same category as that, I got a similar top. Well, not so similar, but it's in this nice baby blue color, and it's longer. It's not really cropped, and it's just a tank top, but the back is kind of a razor back with these deep sides, so it looks really nice with a bralette or something. You would have to wear a kind of weird bra with this. I guess just a bralette will work, but this color I think is beautiful, and I think that it looks nice on my skin tone. <laughs> and it's so comfy. I love the material and I wore this a bunch when I was in California because I thought it would be really cold but it was actually pretty warm so this was perfect. And the last top I got is super nerdy but like just look at this. It is a crop top like t-shirt thing and it has the design of the great wave on it. Let's just take a moment. This is kind of just me like ah, oh, wipe myself in the face in a shirt because I love art history and <laughs> So nerdy. One of my essays I wrote about the Great Wave, so I just thought that I should get myself this. And it looks cute on. And I don't have a lot of navy. Then I got another staple piece. This is just a black maxi skirt, and they are the one size fits all everything, so it's just one size, but it fits me really nice. And I'm really short, so I thought it would be kind of long, but it was the perfect length and just really nice, thin, but thick enough that you're not like bearing all. It looks really nice and I don't have anything that's full maxi so I thought that this would be a nice purchase. I was on the hunt for a phone case when I went in going to California. I was like I need a new phone case so I'm gonna get that and I got this one. I'll probably have to zoom in but it, it has sparkly stars on it. And it's clear because I really like the look of not having a phone case on, but I cracked mine. Well, but then I got a new one, but um, I cracked it, so I was scared to be caseless, even though I love the look of being caseless, so I had to get a case, but this is the best of both worlds, and I am obsessed with it. So that's all I got from Brandy Melville, and now we'll move into something equally or more so exciting, and it's from Sephora, and I kind of got uh, a lot of stuff from Sephora, but I'm so excited about all of it. So excited. First of all, I was on the hunt for a new perfume, and when I was still, like, home, I went to 
Sephora to go smell the perfumes. So I didn't know if I wanted to buy one yet, but I just wanted to go smell them. And I smelled this one and I fell in love with it because I really like this sugary, sweet, like cotton candy, overwhelmingly sweet scents. And I was using the Aqualina Pink Sugar, which is very sweet, but I kind of wanted to move on from that, like grow up a little bit. So I thought this was kind of like the older sister to that. And it is the Parada Candy perfume. But it smells so good. And this thing is adorable. Look how adorable that is. Um, you just pop the top. It just smells like the older sister to Aqualina Pink Sugar. Definitely less cotton candy scents, more sensual, sweet, sexy scents. Nextly, is that a word? Nextly? Next, I needed to get a new concealer. And you guys know that, well, if you've watched my videos, that I swear by the Makeup Forever 5 palette this is one of my holy grail products and i highly recommend this to everyone but that being said i kind of was stopping to use i didn't need the green one so much um so i decided to just pick up one of their normal concealers this is the makeup forever professional paris full cover concealer and i have tried this out i left it in the package though and i've heard good things about this on multiple people's videos i think beauty by sienna uses this and zoella maybe uses this but i think this is amazing little bit goes such a long way the color i got is a little bit I got in the number five it does cover everything and it is great and I'm very excited to use this in future tutorials and such. You will definitely be seeing this again. And once I get paler, I'll definitely like use this all the time. Okay, the next thing I'm also very excited about, and it is the Gimme Brow by Benefit. And I got the medium deep one because I have pretty dark hair and I like my eyebrows to be pretty dark. But the product is so nice. And I tried this one out also. I used the Tweezer Man brow gel for a long time, but I thought that like I wanted one that had color in it. So when I heard about this, I was very excited and I tried this out. I really liked it. And then I do that and then I'll just go in with dark eyeshadow to finish it up. Let me know if you want to see an eyebrow tutorial. I could definitely do that. I was very pleased with it. Then I got another very exciting product. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. But I tried this one out also and I fell in love with it. It made my lashes look so nice and I'm sure it'll make your lashes look so nice. And I'm not just saying that because I've used a lot of mascaras. I love the Dior, I love, but this stuff is the real deal. It makes them super long, super dark, and super voluminous. Oh, apparently it makes your lashes grow as well. I did not know about that, but wow. I just, I love. And then I picked up the Coveted Beauty Blender, which I have never actually tried out. And I think that some of the hype has died down, but I was still kind of like, you know, I need to try this Beauty Blender stuff. I need to see what it's about. And sometimes I don't like using a brush to apply my foundation because it can get kind of streaky. So hopefully this will cure those problems. I think it definitely will. And finally, I picked up the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And the Sephora that I went to was in Union Square, SF, Tourist Probs. There was a MAC right next to it, and I had wanted to get the MAC, what is it called, like, MAC setting spray, the same thing, for a while. Then I saw this in Sephora, and I was like, maybe I should just, you know, get this one. Maybe, why not? And then I asked one of the guys there, one of the gentlemen there, I was like, is this better than the MAC one? And he was like, yeah. And I don't think he was just saying that because he wanted me to buy the product. He was like... This one mattifies you, the MAC one has all that green tea and stuff, but this one mattifies you, and I was just like, sold. I've used this, and I like it. Then I went to Urban Outfitters, which I love. Kind of my obsession, honestly. I love everything in Urban Outfitters, but I only got two things. The first was this pair of shorts. They're just a very light wash, almost acid wash denim material with a lot of distressing at the bottom. They're very short, kind of cheeky almost, but not really. They're appropriate. And they look really good on. They're not super, super high-waisted, which I like because a lot of high-waisted shorts are very high-waisted on me since I'm short. But they they come up to, like, right below your belly button, which is, like, a good length. So I really like these. And they're so comfortable. Like, I want to wear them everywhere. The last thing I got from Urban was another bralette. I love bralettes. They are my favorite thing in the world because who wants to wear a normal bra? Who does? No one. So these look cute under the brandy tops and honestly under anything. This is just a really pretty cream 
lace and the detailing is so pretty on and this is another thing I just want to wear all the time the last thing I got in San Francisco is kind of boring like actually in there not like online but it is from North makeup case which um is black and gold and it's from the brand Trina I guess and black and gold are some of my favorite colors it looks very spacious which I like and there's a place for your brushes and my makeup setup before was really confusing and it's just like three pieces of like Vera Bradley makeup bags. I wanted to make them more condensed into one. Wait, no, I got one more thing from Chinatown. It's a keychain. I love it. It's really long and bedazzled and I think it's the cutest thing and it also says I heart SF on it. I'm a nerd. I'm a tourist. I know. This is a really long, obnoxious, weird story, but basically I had a dream that I was wearing a really cute purple bikini. So I went online and tried to find one because I was like, I need this. It looked so cute on my dream. Found one from PacSun. It was on cheap, on cheap, really sale. It was on sale really cheap. So I picked it up. Well, it's just this purple. It has this like braiding detail. It looks cute on, kind of like a sports bra, but I like it a lot. And I also got the matching bottoms which aren't really cheeky, they're just kind of normal, but the sides are really thin and braided, which I kind of like, and I don't really have any bottoms that are like, happy that I do now. And the last item from my haul I am completely obsessed with, they are my babies. I bought them the day before I left because there was like a really, really, really good sale on. It's from Tor but I got a really good deal on them, almost 50% off. I can't even explain how much I love these. They are like a modern gladiator sandal, and if you know anything about me, in my swimsuit haul I was like, this is my great goddess bikini. Well, these are my great goddess shoes. I feel like I should be walking around ancient Greece in these, and I love it. And they fit perfectly. I, I can't, I can't even. So unfortunately, we have come to the end of my haul video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this a thumbs up for more hauls in the future. I just realized I had a hair tie on the whole time. That must have been obnoxious. I hate it when I have them on and like I'm trying to look cute. Darn you hair tie. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the sub button for more. Love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.